And this is my sweet and spicy barbecue chicken sandwich with a fly on it. <laughs> That's probably a good B-roll. <laughs> I'm Rick and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Heat and this episode I have been waiting for for a really long time. I made this dish about a year ago. I had just gotten to Mazatlan, it was the middle of quarantine and I wanted to pick me up and so I made this barbecue grilled chicken sandwich and it has all of the flavors that I really, really missed at that time. So a lot of Asian flavors. This sandwich is incredibly delicious, incredibly beautiful. The chicken is gonna be really, really glazy and spicy and sweet and charred. It's got this amazing quick pickle to cut right through all the richness. We've got a beautiful toasted sesame seed bun. It is incredible and perfect for summertime grilling. As always, if you like me, if you like this recipe, if you like the series, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode. Okay, so I was gonna say the star of this dish, but I actually think that there's really two stars. The chicken and this marinade is incredible. So. It works well with chicken, it works well with pork, or you know, if you're doing like a grilled vegetable, it would work well with that as well. The sweet is going to come from my beloved piloncillo. You can definitely use dark brown sugar or light brown sugar. For the heat, I'm using ginger and I'm also using fresh serranos, but we're also going to have a lot of heat in the sriracha and the sambal. The sambal always, to me, very closely uh, has the flavor of fresh chilies. The sriracha is more like a condiment. It does have a, a lot more heat. I think the two pair very well together. The fish sauce is gonna give us the salt and funk. So in this dish, I'm not using any salt. A miso is fermented soybean paste. And it just gives you so much umami and so much flavor and a little bit of sweetness, and a little bit of funk. For the chicken, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And then of course I went to the panaderia and got this amazing brioche roll topped with some sesame seeds. So the other thing that I love is that we've got like a whole red and green stitch going. So so the chicken is going to be like this bright, you know, brick red with some char marks. And then the green is going to give us that freshness. It's going to cut through the richness of the chicken. Those are all going to help just balance the dish out. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make the quick pickles. So these are super easy and they're really, really super flavorful for, you know, for being so fast and also not having that many ingredients. This is the cucumber that uh, is most common here. Use Kirby's, use uh, Hothouse or English or your Persians, whatever you have, whatever you like, they'll all work well. So what I'm gonna do is I took the ends off just to make it easier with this one, it's because it's long, it's easier to cut into smaller slices when you cut it in half. And I'm just going to very thinly slice. Okay, so now I'm going to pull a little bit of the excess moisture out of them. I'm going to toss them with some salt. Just a, a pretty heavy pinch. It's just, it's not necessarily going to make them salty. It's just going to draw out all the moisture. And then we'll let those sit for about five minutes. And then we will just squeeze all the excess moisture out. Meanwhile, we are going to work on the serranos. So I'm using serranos because I just love the flavor of them. And I find that at least here in Mazatlan, the serranos tend to be a little bit spicier uh, than the jalapenos. I'm using five because I just like the number five. That's like the heat level that I like, which is pretty spicy. So if you're not into heat, you can either take the seeds out or just use less of them. But the other thing to remember too is in this dish, in the context of these pickles, you've got a lot of other uh, things to break through. Like so. They may, the pickles may taste spicy on their own, but you're also going to be taking a bite of the bread and also the chicken. And so it's gonna balance itself out. All right, so I'm just gonna thinly slice these. Obviously I'm leaving the seeds in because I want the heat. Okay. 
Okay, so it's been about five minutes and now I'm going to squeeze out the excess liquid. So you don't have to go crazy. Like I don't want to break anything. So just take a, a big handful and then just, you know, gently squeeze out the liquid. Again, we don't want to break them. They're really pretty. They're also slightly soft. Your hands are basically like a, a little colander. And you'll see even in five minutes, there's actually quite a lot of liquid at the bottom of the bowl. There we go. And that's it. So I'm gonna take all of my Sedano and just throw them in. And to that, I'm gonna take my rice wine vinegar, put that in there. And I've got two tablespoons of sugar, I'm putting that in there. And a quarter cup of water. And a little bit more salt and then just toss all of that together and there's no need to do anything else really like you can eat these probably in about 10 minutes and they will start to pick up flavor they're going to release more of their liquid they will continue to brine and get like really delicious you can leave these out for up to an hour at room temp. Um, any longer than that, I would go ahead and like throw it in the fridge or you can put it in a jar and, and keep it. So I would definitely try and eat them today and then, you know, whatever you have left over, you can definitely put on your leftover sandwiches if there are leftovers, which there probably won't be. And now we're ready to make the marinade. The first thing that we're gonna do for this is I'm going to peel a little bit of ginger and I'm only using a tablespoon, so I'm not gonna have, I don't need to peel that much. And so now I'm just gonna use my microplane. I'm gonna microplane directly into the bowl. Ginger always likes to hang out with garlic. So we're gonna put four large cloves of garlic in this as well. And same thing, scrape them into the bowl. So I was just informed that in my recipe, I wrote, do this directly into a saucepan um, so that you can save yourself the bother of having to wash a bowl, which I conveniently forgot. So now I have an extra bowl to wash. So um, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> Get your saucepan and make the marinade directly into the saucepan and you will have one less thing to clean. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is grate my piloncillo. So you are probably thinking a half cup is a lot of sugar and it is. There is a lot of heat and aggressive flavors with this dish. And believe it or not, this sauce will not read incredibly sweet. It's, it's really, really balanced um, even with this amount of sugar, but there's a lot of acid and there's a lot of spice coming through as well. So you really need this amount of sugar to balance the other two aggressive sides of this. Trust me, it is really delicious. Okay, so that is half a cup. Now what I'm gonna do, depending on your miso paste, it might be a little bit like uh, drier and a little bit more pasty. Mine is actually pretty smooth, but I think it's a good idea to start with the miso and a little bit of a liquid and then just incorporate those together and then add everything else. So I'm just gonna add the miso paste in and then I'll add some of the rice wine vinegar. It doesn't matter uh, which liquid you add. You just basically want to whisk this until you don't really have any clumps of miso. Okay, that's perfect. Now you can just dump everything else in. So that's rice wine vinegar, dish sauce, sriracha, and sambal, and piloncillo. I'm gonna taste this because, oh, it's so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my chicken. I am going to dip the chicken in, toss it to coat and pull it out. And then we're going to continue to use the marinade. Because we're going to cook this, anything that is in the marinade because of, as a result of the chicken um, will be cooked out and is totally safe. And so if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about this, you can separate out maybe a quarter cup of the marinade, brush it all over your chicken and then cook down the rest. But 
trust me, nothing, we're gonna be cooking this down for about 20 minutes and you will be totally fine. It'll be really thick and jammy and delicious. This chicken doesn't need that long in the marinade and, and actually you don't really need that much of it because we're going to cook the sauce down or cook the marinade down until it's really nice and glazy. And then we're gonna brush it on the chicken on the grill. You can leave this out for about half an hour at room temp and it's no problem. If you're doing this ahead, you can marinate this uh, for probably up to a day and that's totally fine. Just cover it tightly with plastic and put it back in the fridge. And now we're just gonna let that sit and we will start reducing down our marinade. Hello world, are you ready to grill some chicken? Let's reduce a marinade. All right, so I've got the marinade uh, in the saucepan. We're gonna reduce it down medium heat for about seven to 10 minutes. What I'm looking for is really thick and syrupy. I wanna be able to brush this over the chicken as it cooks. Okay, so we are ready to grill this chicken finally because I really want a sandwich. We're just gonna put these on our hot grill. I oiled the grates just to give me a little insurance that nothing is going to stick. I'll do an ASMR of this and then my microphone will melt and... We're making some chicken. It's gonna be really delicious. So the way that you would tell if these are done, the safest way to do it is with a thermometer. Between 155 and 165, I think officially it's much higher, but I prefer to go probably a little less than 155, but I like very juicy chicken and, oh my God, that is beautifully grilled chicken. Finally, I get to eat this sandwich. I'm so excited. I was so excited, I actually took my sunglasses off so I could actually see the sandwich in all of its amazing glory. Okay, so I have my beautiful toasted brioche sesame bun, and I'm gonna get this ridiculous piece of chicken and these little nubbins, cause you know what? I deserve it. I am also, because there is a little bit of sauce left, I'm gonna be kind of extra because I love this sauce so much. I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a little extra zhuzh of sauce. You can taste the, the fish sauce, which I really like a lot. It's that really awesome funk, and then it's sweet and spicy. Oh, so good. And for these pickles, they've just been sitting out at room temp uh, this whole time while we were cooking. And at the very end, I tossed them with a little bit of toasted sesame seed just for beauty and it'll give you a little bit of a flavor. Also, there's quite a bit of brine in this. Save the brine. I'm just gonna put some of the brine on my bun just because I like it. And then I'm gonna top this with some of the sliced scallion and some cilantro leaves. All right, I think I am ready for this now. Oh. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, all right. Come in here, Sebastian. And this is my sweet and spicy barbecue chicken sandwich. Okay, I'm going in. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Oh. Mm. I love fried chicken sandwiches so much, but, but there's something so incredible about a glazy, charry, sweet, spicy sandwich with like these amazing pickles. This bun is the perfect texture. It's so soft. It soaks up and holds on to all that extra sauce and all the pickle juice. You have got to make this and I have to take another bite. Sorry. No, I'm really, I'm not sorry. Mm. This recipe is really great for weekdays because it's really quick and easy, but it's also amazing for a big crowd. So invite your friends over, double, triple, quadruple the recipe. Everybody's gonna want 
certainly one sandwich. I'm probably gonna have two because I'm starving. And as always, if you like me, if you like the sandwich, if you wanna see more, hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as I have another Sweet Heat episode. And as always, if you make the sandwich, make sure you tag us in it. I wanna see all your amazing grill shots. I wanna see your amazing glazy chicken. I wanna see you enjoying this sandwich.